Guys, Alex with Four and Half here to give you a glimpse on how Four and Half websites transform property management businesses. And here with me, we have our website client, Jock McNeil with Alliance Property Management. Jock, how are you? I'm great this morning. How are you, Alex? I'm, I'm awesome. And thank you for joining me for this few minutes here. No problem. I have some phenomenal data points to drop in terms of the outcome of uh, uh, upgrading the website from your previous vendor to four and a half. But before we go there, what did you expect by getting a new website versus what you have actually gotten? Like, how does it feel on your end? Well, you know, we've been a client of yours for a long time. So I, I knew the team that I was working with for the most part. So I expected that uh, the process was going to be pretty easy. Um, it, it was very easy. And uh, they took the content from my old website plugged it into the new website. I added a few things. We added a couple of videos, um, upgraded a few things. But for the most part, I didn't have to start from scratch, which was exactly what I was looking for. My time's precious, and uh, I, you know, I, I just wanted to get it up and going as quickly as possible. I'd have to say we were, we were uh, from start to finish, maybe four or five weeks, somewhere in there. It was excellent. That's really good. That's really good, Jock. And so, what is the actual outcome? Let's look into that. So basically taking Jock's information, which was good. Most people have good stuff on the website. It's just not organized in any mm -hmm. kind of way where, it's, um, where it provides the experience that your prospective owners are looking for to trust you with their you know, initial form and then their property. And so let's look at the data. We finally have, you know, we launched a website about what, nine months, uh, eight months ago or so. We have right. last six months data. And so last year, for Q1 and Q2, your website produced exactly 30 owner leads. Right. This year, the four and a half website did a whopper, right? 85 total owner, qualified owner leads, which is a 183% lift. How does that feel? I mean- It feels great. I, I have to say, you know, our, our, uh, our former website was not built for, with owners in mind. It was built to market rentals, which is, all good if that's what you're after, after, but we're after growth. I want to provide opportunities for my team, uh, you know, more profit for the company, and the end result is, you know, a better uh, career for me as a, as a business owner. And so um, having it set up where it was a funnel, not just for renters, but also for owners, just that little tweak probably substantiated a lot of that growth. But you guys built something that's really beautiful for us. So thank you. I, I appreciate that. There's, so there's, there's a little bit more to unpack here because the renters get their own experience and their own path within your website. Right. You're just not intruding on the owner experience, right? And, on the, uh, and it'll give each constituent their own opportunity to self-educate and uh, self-convince that, you know, that, that you are the right choice. Absolutely. Um, and, and you know, the front page, instead of just saying, hey, here are our rentals, now says, you know, I'm a renter versus, and I'm an owner. And so they're both on the front page now, which is exceptional. Yeah. So we, we call out the specific experiences and, and then that way we can track the experience of the owner to improve. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. I just want to get back to the numbers. And those of you who are listening, you think, okay, what is, what is additional 55 leads really mean to me over the six months course, right? It may not sound as, you know, as fantastic as it is. But remember, those are qualified leads. They've already read your stuff. And Jock, they already looked at your pricing. They yeah. know that they, they, they looked at all of the uh, experience you had and never already made a choice, a conscious choice to potentially work with you. So the likelihood of closing those leads is high. But let's say we do close them at about 20%. The nine additional leads per month that the website brought are basically resulting in $100,000 of annual contract value for the new units gained, mm -hmm. and which results in 300,000 lifetime customer value for those units, Jock. So we talking over quarter million dollars gained an additional quarter million dollars of a lifetime revenue for Alliance Property Management by just giving your constituents the best experience you can through your website. Absolutely, I mean, it's, it's a very compelling reason to make the change, but let's not forget about uh, the other side of it, which is the value of your company with those additional units. You know, you know I, I have grown our company a lot through acquisitions, so I know what these companies are worth. The more accounts that you have on your books, that revenue stream adds value. So you're talking about just straight revenue. You know, that's great. I love the revenue and I love profit on revenue. But at the same time, if you look at the value that you add to your company when you go to exit the business at some point, it's, it's truly astounding. The valuations are not going down. That's for yeah. certain. 
And so all of that on a $7,000 initial investment. And from there, you don't have to rebuild your website mm -hmm. every couple of years as you would with other vendors to stay on track because we offer, we work with Jock on continuous improvement basis, which is what, uh, which is what we built into all of our website products. Every 90 days, we'll look at KPIs. Like there's tons of data out there. Like who knows how to decipher all this Google Analytics stuff? Well, we do. Right, right. We, we, we sort of really sort of funnel it down to the four, five, six KPIs that really matter, and then we propose a specific uh, a build to act on the improvements we feel will make the difference. And you and your website and us, we went through a couple iterations, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, we have. Uh, and and uh, the the way it is right now actually is working. We've we've made a couple of minor modifications, and you guys have been great at accommodating us very small things, but there, there are things that uh, were important to us to get the look and feel that we wanted. It may not have affected the, um, the outcome much, but it made the site much better suited to us as a company. You know, can I throw in something, something extra here? Oh yeah. A lot, a lot of people are adding a business development manager to their staff. And I will tell you the main reason we did this was because we added a business development manager to our staff last July and he was doing great, but, I, we made a substantial investment in him, and in order to make him as uh, productive and give us as, as good an ROI as, as we could get out of it, we had to keep his funnel full. And so if you've considered building a BDM type position within your company, don't just do that without having leads coming their way. Um, they're going to be much better at what they do if they've got a fire hose of leads coming at them. If the deal flow is there. Yeah, absolutely, Jack. Well, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for that wisdom piece. And, and I think we're, we're going to look forward to continuing to improve. And your website, I remember when we launched it nine months ago, and I look at it now, and those of you who are not clicking the link, go to alliancepm.com to check it out. It gets different. Like It has morphed and changed over time. Um, and that's, that's kind of the value here is don't stay the same. And what? guess what? Jock is on top of all the search engines. I mean, he ranked well before. The mm -hmm. thing is, the people that went to the website didn't really believe he was the solution for their, you know, property management problems. And now um, they believe more. So yeah, can I throw a little nugget out there for you? I think this is really important to those of us that are growing our business and becoming more business owners than property managers. Um, you want to think more about finding the who rather than the how when you have a task you want to get done. Uh, and our task was we wanted to fill our marketing funnel, build a great website. Could we have done that somehow ourselves? Sure. But the how just adds stuff to our to-do list. The who gives us capacity. And uh, you guys did an incredible job. You're the who for us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And, and so in this reference, the who means, and this is what Jordan says all the time, uh, operationalize your sales and marketing and win. That's how you win. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to win, give us a chance to take a look at your website, propose the changes, and if you choose to buy a website from us, we'll make sure the outcome is hopefully just as good as, as Jock's, maybe even better, but Jock is competitive. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Jock, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you make the right choice when you're choosing your next website.